Hey guys, what is up? Josh Ward here from Edit Video Faster. Welcome to lesson 12 in learning your After Effects keyboard shortcuts. Uh, this lesson is all about keyframes and the graph editor. As a reminder, these lessons can be taken in any order, so if this is your first lesson or your 12th, it doesn't matter. You can jump around uh, in this series. Let's jump right into it. So we're here in our composition with our awesome pink square, um, and if you want to select all keyframes on a given property. Uh, go ahead and just click on the property name and it's going to select all the keyframes for it. To select all visible keyframes and properties on a selected layer. Uh, on a Mac, uh, Command or Option. On Windows computer, Control or Alt. And the A key. And that's going to select all the available uh, properties for a layer. If you want to deselect uh, all the keyframes and properties, go ahead and hit Shift and F2. That's going to deselect the properties, but leave the layer selected. Uh, another shortcut probably covered in a different lesson, uh, if you just hit the F2 key, that's going to deselect any selected layers. But if you want to keep that layer selected um, after you have a property selected and you want just want to get rid of that property being selected, Shift and F2, and the layer is going to stay selected. Now. Uh, if we have a keyframe selected and we want to nudge that left or right earlier or further down the timeline, uh, we can go ahead and hit the op or hold the option or alt key, then hit the left arrow to go back in time or the right arrow to go forward in time. And then if we tack on the shift key, so option or alt and shift, and hit left arrow or right arrow, and that's going to jump by 10 frames or eight frames, depending on uh, how your composition is set. To switch between the graph editor and the layer bar mode, which is what you're currently seeing here, go ahead and hit shift and F3. That's going to bring up the graph editor and shift F3. That's going to bring it back to the standard uh, After Effects timeline view. If we want to set the interpolation for a selected keyframe, we can hold down Command or Control, Option or Alt, and the K key, and here we can select uh, its keyframe interpolation. Next, to set a keyframe to Easy Ease, uh, this is one uh, that you should uh, put in your memory bank, uh, is the F9 key. So with the keyframe selected, uh, and also uh, you can do this to multiple keyframes, uh, hit the F9 key, that's going to Easy Ease both of those keyframes. If I just want to do an easy ease in, that is shift and F9. And if I just want to do an easy ease out, that's going to be command or control shift and F9. And lastly, if you use the uh, set velocity uh, feature, uh, you can, um, with a keyframe selected, you can do command control shift and the K key, and you can use the keyframe velocity feature here in After Effects. This is something I have never used, uh, but I am sure folks out there find this useful. And let that be a little lesson to you, you know, 15 plus years into this, uh, there are several features, many, probably countless features here in After Effects, I still don't use and I'm still learning. So keep at it and don't sweat it if you don't know something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button uh, if you found this video helpful and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks again, go drink some water, and I will see you all around in the next video.